In this video, let's see how to create this urban diagram using SketchUp and Go. This is the original image which was created by Adapt Architecture Studio, which was a part of master plan for the transformation of the industrial harbor in Birmingham. I downloaded this model of Atlantica from 3D Warehouse and made some corrections like applying the same material for the buildings and placing these low poly yachts, boats and trucks. Make sure to save the SketchUp file in SketchUp 6 before importing it into Lumion. Open Lumion, click on create new and select design showcase template. Delete the existing building before importing anything. Now click on import and select the SketchUp file and place it near the axis. Let's set a basic camera angle for now so that we don't focus on the unwanted areas. I renamed all layers for easy access and made the site in one layer and trees in another. I created these trees in SketchUp. They are basically same just with some proportional variations. And I created separate SketchUp files with one of them placed at the origin. The idea is to import them all separately into Lumion and place them using the mass placement tool. Once all the trees are imported, select place and click on mass placement and start drawing the line where you want to place the trees. After placing your first point, hold control to place additional points. If you want to add some other trees in this path, select the tree and click on this plus symbol. I added all the tree varieties to the list. Then you can play with the number of trees, offset value and the thickness of the line. This gives you complete control over placing trees. At the same time, it makes it look organic and random. You can repeat the process and play with the values to create randomness while populating the scene. You can hide the unwanted layers for smooth function. Let's start applying the materials. I am using the standard white material with little bit of reflectivity and glossiness but reduce the relief completely. And for the glass, I am applying a rough glass texture to give the acrylic look. For the buildings, I am going with the plastic material. I changed it to white and I rounded off the edges a bit. I use the same material as the truck for the ships, yards and boats. I extracted these colors from the reference image and created textures for each of them. I also overlaid a grid PNG above it to create a separate texture. Let's bring these materials into Lumia. Click on the standard material and load the color as the albedo map. Then you can keep any value you want for glossiness and reflectivity. Now you can just copy paste this material and change the color alone. Make sure the colorization value is zero. Apply the material all over the model. For the grid texture, after loading the map, you might have to scale it a bit to the size that you want. If you look closely in the reference image, the water has high reflectivity. After changing the map and everything, we increase the glossiness fully and reflectivity to 3 fourth. Unhide the tree layer. Trees are just simple. I am going to apply three different colors so that I can mix and match them so they look good. Let's move to placing people in this scene. Make sure you are on the correct layer. I am using the mass placement to populate this scene with people. Play with all these values like direction, offset and start adding variety to the population. Once that's done, you can start placing them wherever you want and with the density that you want. After placing them, hold control on your keyboard to select them all and change the colorizing value to the left to make them black. Time after time, go to the scene we set initially to make sure we didn't leave any spot. There are some must apply effects. First one, layer visibility. You can hide the heavy layers in your workspace, but keep it visible in your render screen. Next one is the orthographic view. Enabling it will create this parallel projection view suited for concept diagrams and urban diagrams like this. You can reframe the camera angle accordingly. Third effect is reflection. Add a reflection plane to the ocean and click OK. I also save some additional scenes later and populated some spots that I missed earlier. These are the three must effects you must apply. 
but you can also add others like sun global illumination and hyperlight to create the effect that you want once you are happy click on render and photo set to render all scenes in one stretch i am also rendering the material id map for some post production in photoshop select the quality you want and the location where you want to save the file and hit save once it's rendered i took the images into photoshop and overlaid its material id map on top i want the water to be more teal green so using the hue and saturation adjustment layer i made the correction then using the material id map i masked out the water portion alone i also made it dark using the levels adjustment layer finally i added some grains using camera raw filter these are the final results hope you found something useful see you all in the next